But I have to say this point. I said this on Twitter as well. Eminem's career from the beginning and up till now, mm. the backdrop of it has been him clout chasing. Yo, 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 yo. Check out the full podcast. Link below. We're going to talk about this Eminem album. Eminem, the real Slim Shady, Marshall Mathers himself came out of retirement. I feel like, I'm, a, you know, he never announced his retirement, but damn it, I'm going to say he's been on, on a hiatus. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He's 51. He finally dropped his long-anticipated new album, The the Death of Slim Shady. Obviously, over the last couple months, we've gotten releases here and there. We got Houdini. We gave our thoughts on that last, you know, a couple episodes ago. Toby. Uh, Toby. Toby with Big Sean. Toby and, dropped. And Baby Tron. And, Baby uh, and, Tron. Yeah, and yeah. Big Sean. And, um, um, yeah, man, there's been a lot of momentum, momentum and, and, and anticipation towards this uh, new Eminem album, and uh, it dropped. People seem to be rocking with it. But hey, we're here to give our thoughts on it. So cute. I'm not going to go too deep into this. I want you to give your initial take on the album, and then we can get into initial some of the nuances. take on the album. What are your thoughts? I thought it was an interesting angle Eminem took for this album. So for people that don't know, Eminem has an alter ego named Slim Shady, right? Who the hell don't know that? I mean... For people, that's it for people that don't know. You see, you say that, right? Who the hell are you those people? You say that? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm but <laughs> Eminem, The Real Slim Shady, came out in 2000. Your boy Donovan Klingon wasn't born yet. Like, so, like, there's a lot of people that heard this album. This might be the first Eminem album they've heard ever. Touche. Touche. So, you know, Slim Shady was the evil, reckless, the dude that chased his substitute teacher with a stapler so he can get the grade on his paper change that's slim shady so he tried to channel that as his 51 year old self and you know i i, I thought did he go overboard yes he did you know he, he went overboard with trying to channel that persona saying all kinds of ridiculous and crazy things but at the same time you know it was kind of cool to see that one last time of slim shady to quickly just the word i would use to describe this album is ridiculous it's just ridiculous <laughs> okay it's, it's ridiculous interesting word to so use. it's funny i was talking to my boy Vern. he was like how would you describe the album like would you say it's good or bad i said it's ridiculous in ridiculous the term the, the true definitional definition term of ridiculous like it's outrageous it's outlandish <laughs> we'll get to it what else it's, what else it's, how many more we don't need all the synonyms it's it's, it's a, like it's a fun experience there's a lot of cool things Eminem does. For the most part, it's just a ridiculous body of work. Like the topics he covers, the flows he uses, the way he goes off the rails on certain songs. Like it's just a ridiculous album to me. Okay. And I don't know. We get if I it. We get it. Way. It's ridiculous. You know okay. What, what else? That that's what? all I got. I, I, that's it. All I got for you is this ridiculous album. It's no ridiculous. way. No way. That's is it, it good or it's bad? How about that? It's. I can't Did you give like good the or album? Bad. Did you I can not just like give the album? Ridiculous. The album Yo, was ridiculous. Come on, man. You got more than that. I don't know what else to tell Yo, you. Don't tell me that's it. Flabbergasting. I don't know. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't even say. I'll take it from here. I I did I I I I thought it was cool. Look, I'll take that? it from here. Like, that? clearly, you ain't got much more else to say than the album was ridiculous. So sure. I'll, I'll pick up from there. I generally agree. I think the album was outrageous. I think it was a very wacky experience. Conceptually, I thought the album was really good. Like, I liked what he did from uh, just telling a story. And, and it's interesting because when he, uh, I, shit, the day the album dropped, mm -hmm. he tweeted out, hey, just FYI, guys, you got to listen to this album from start to finish. By the way, I hate when artists have to say that. Don't ever tell me that as an artist. I want to just, just tell me. It should just, be obvious. It should be obvious. Memo to Eminem. I know you're 51. Maybe that's an age thing. Maybe he, I, I don't know what it is, but I don't like when artists do that. That's just me, mm -hmm. personally. Mm -hmm. Nonetheless, he's right. You got to listen to it from start to finish with the skits and all that stuff. That being said, conceptually, I mm -hmm. give this album high praise. Death of Some Shady. Remember, we talked about this before. Mm -hmm. What was the album going to be about? What conceptually was he trying to convey? I like the fact that he's seemingly putting this end of a chapter to the Slim Shady character. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad, guys. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> this is no hate on him. It's just, it's more, it's more of, it's more of me kind of echoing even his sentiment that that guy that he used to channel is outdated for even him. And so when you get songs like Houdini, come on, bro, like the video. We've seen it before. It's nostalgic. Mm -hmm. Great. Classic Eminem. I loved some records on there. I love the song with, uh, I love the, the Fuel record with, with Jid. I love uh, the, the, start, the Toby song with Baby, I'm um, sorry, um, uh, ba yeah, Baby oh. Tron and, um, and, and Big Sean. These are probably some of my standouts from the album. Mm -hmm. Them too. Mm -hmm. But 
the the album kind of takes a dip to me where it becomes classic Eminem. And I say classic Eminem, not the good classic side of Eminem. Mm-hmm. Like, like sappy. Yeah, the, like, uh, for example, I, I don't love the fact that his songs sound a little bit too formulaic for my liking. Yes. The, 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 like the, 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 the structure of songs. The ones like even about Haley. Haley. Those two, like I'm the Jelly that. Roll one, I'm getting that, to that sounded too formulaic. Like even to me. just the like the features, like the way he structures songs to me are just so outdated. Mm-hmm. Um, and I get it. Like it's classic mm-hmm. Eminem, so I'm mm-hmm. not complaining too much. But mm-hmm. like even the Eminem point, I, uh, sorry, the Haley point, I told you this mm-hmm. earlier. Like mm-hmm. I just feel like, bro, like how many times you going to apologize to Haley? Mm-hmm. Haley is a grown up. Mm-hmm. And it's like as people who sat through the whole mm-hmm. Eminem song, from start to finish mm-hmm. we even heard these records mad times mm-hmm. and it's like I get it if you want to include it as far as a part of this conceptual album it makes sense but I just think from an execution standpoint and just overall it it, it to me it like brings the quality of the music down if you're not really bringing like some new material like give me some new thoughts I, mean, I, like, I feel like I didn't get that uh, a lot of t- a lot of uh, for, for most of the album that's I'm, just my personal opinion I'm gonna make a point this is bigger than just Eminem by the way um, has that versus thing ever worked? What do you mean? This person versus that person, like the persona, alter ego. I'm going against my alter ego. Has that ever worked in music, in hip hop music? Mm. Like, think about it. T.I. versus T.I.P. Remember that album? That was T.I. versus T.I.P. That was actually fire. Hey, yo, ho, come on, homeboy. What you about to do? Nah, man, so, shut up, homeboy. He talking to himself out there. I would say would that you say was that was successful? T.I. Yeah. versus T.I.P. worked would, for you? It didn't work for me. Cassidy versus bars or whatever his name was remember that cassidy versus he didn't have a whole album though it was a, it was a whole album i swear to god for it real was a whole, it was cassidy versus uh whatever his alter ego alter ego right to remember the name I, like, it, it, it didn't work for me and it's so cool. like this eminem one as much as it was cool to see him channel it hmm. do we really care like now i mean i think back in the day when eminem we eminem what i learned about this album Eminem's music was amazing when we were kids because it was so creative. His mindset and just how the way he, he looked at things was very teenage like. It was very kiddie. It, mm. it it forced your mind to like go places that your parents didn't want you to go, that society didn't want you to go, that your teachers didn't want you to go. Mm. Now, and so you know, me and you are blessed enough to say we were kids teenagers at that when Eminem was at his peak when real Sim Shady came out the Sim, the Sim Shady LP came out never seen I was like, like 12 13 years old something like that mm-hmm. and I was like dog this is fire like oh my god like he's talking about like wow it was unfortunately we all age it's 20 years later or whatever how many years later you know we got families we got bills we got politics to work. We got all this stuff to worry about. I can give an ass about Slim Shady I, you, anymore. It's just something that at that time when we were kids, it resonated. Yeah. Now it's just so now the, the question is, does this generation, generation X, Y, Z, do they care about it? Do they care about Slim Shady? Do they care about Eminem? Because I'm not sure him talking to our generation anymore work unless you are willing to dive into that teenage side which i just can't do no more you know i mean I, I, that's just my two cents about like you know the, the whole like morphing into slim shady all i would say in response to that and i will say one last thing before we leave is i do think it works you mm-hmm. know why i think it works because the slim shady persona is mm-hmm. immature yes the entire essence of slim shady yeah. is this immature guy who's yeah. undeveloped who has all of these premature thoughts, who hasn't dealt yeah. with a lot of things yeah. in his life. It's very adolescent-like, but which is why when we were kids, it was so relatable. Man, how many people have you heard say, man, when Slim was, Shady was talking about his relationship with his parents, man, I yeah. felt that. Exactly, because, that, you because that's how you felt when you was a teenager. When you were a teenager. So guess what? Mm-hmm. There's teenagers in 2024. Yeah, I know. There's teenagers in 2025. There is. There's always going to be... So his, I think his, the essence of Slim Shady will always relate to someone. Okay, that's fair. That's why that's I think fair. it has but a space... I, I, but I just feel like it overall, doesn't, he has, it doesn't. I feel like Eminem has to grow up. But at the end of the day, I don't think it, it doesn't what I feel organic anymore. So Eminem is also, you know, this is the same guy on that. He's saying, oh, y'all young kids don't know what y'all talking about. Like, mm-hmm. he's spewing out that type of rhetoric also. To me, it's almost kind of how I feel about Dave Chappelle, right? Where he did his last comedy special. And I, I, I just think this is a good topic. We keep going a little bit. Yeah, let's, but, let's try to you know, end it. Let's try to land But, it. like, you know, with the Dave Chappelle, you know, he's going on the, you know, the 
LGBTQ community. And Which, by the way, we had I this whole combo. We, get, didn't, we didn't even get to like you know the that part. And the all that other stuff. I get it. Like I understand. Like there's almost a satire element to what Eminem and Dave Chappelle are doing. I don't personally believe they have hate for those communities. I actually think they're trying to bring light. You know, a lot of times there's not people smart enough to notice that. Number one, and then number two, I just think now it just sounds like just tox toxic that we just you know it's just like okay all right you know what i'm saying no, no, <laughs> it's, no, hey. it's just because at the end of the day whether he's being sad whether it's satire or whether it's you know whatever it just sounds distasteful yo can we yo, whether it sounds whether it's satire or not hey, it bro. just sounds like all right this is like talking to like a four-year-old like you know bro, i'm tired of i'm tired of pe- this is gonna sound so disrespectful but i get it i get it Yo, I want to reiterate. I get, I get cool. what he was trying to do. But sorry, go ahead. Okay, cool, cool. Mm-hmm. I, I, yeah, no, I do too. Mm-hmm. I do too. I want to acknowledge that. I mm-hmm. totally get the satire angle. Mm-hmm. I actually think it's fire. Like I liked, I like, I want people to have fun more, man. I like mm-hmm. when the mm-hmm. baby uses satire in his videos. Yeah, I like yeah, when sure, sure. Ludacris was using satire in his music and mm-hmm. in his video. I, I like the animation and people being, you know, eccentric. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. will never not be tight to me. But I have to say this point. I said this on Twitter as well. Eminem's career from the beginning and up till now, the backdrop of it has been him clout chasing. Mm-hmm. He has always been a clout chaser. And what's interesting is I, I don't really hear people saying that enough, right? Because mm-hmm. usually the word clout chaser gets applied to people who you necessarily don't like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But since M got a lot of fans, you're not really going to hear people using the, mm-hmm. labeling him as a clout chaser. Mm-hmm. He is 100% a clout chaser. Him using people's names as 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 drama in his music mm-hmm. intentionally causing beef it's it's clout driven mm-hmm. and, and I'm, i don't have a problem with it but mm-hmm. let's just call it spade a spade bro mm-hmm. he's a clout mm-hmm. chaser he 100 percent of the cl- is that am i uh, going too far i mean i wouldn't call tell him me a, if i am i wouldn't call him a clout i mean i wouldn't chaser. care if you said i just I am, think he's I just, just, that's how i stand i just think i just think eminem just he's a clout chaser i would bro. Call, i wouldn't say clout chaser i don't i don't I don't think clout chase is quite the right word. I think he's just someone who holds on to because he's he's bringing up the same people. Like he bring up Ja Rule, Candace he's Owens, up Diddy. He's been Diddy. bringing those people up for years. He's brought Diddy up. He told him he want to smash J Lo. Bro, he was talking like about like in two thousand. He was talking three. about midgets. You know, it's the same, but it's the same thing he's been saying from day one. I just think that he holds on to whatever. Why in what world? Why are you talking about Jairo in 2024? Makes no sense. He said, "Yo, you know, I wanted to fight Jairo." Okay, why are we still talking about Jairo? I, I think it's just a matter of you know he he, I, hey. he has his targets and hey, he, he just has an update. He needs a software update on his targets. Megan Thee Stallion's a new target. <laughs> that is. Would true. you would you argue that's cloud driven? <laughs> I didn't why is he talking that. about Megan that? Was kind of funny though. I'm not gonna lie. It's not about whether it's funny or not. <laughs> The point. The I mean, point is now if it's funny or not. The fact that he's doing it. The fact this. that he's doing it. Like, why it, are you doing Why this? are you doing it? But I mean, he can do it. It's fine. I, I didn't mean, say he can't. I'm just fine. saying, let's call a spade a spade. It's if somebody fine. else targeted, it's not clout to me. I don't. I just don't consider it clout chasing. I just oh, consider wow. it okay, just all right. like all right. you know. All right. <laughs> y'all, y'all not ready to call it. Yet? What? Is, why do people hate Megan? I was actually gonna I say. Don't know. I was actually gonna say. I actually. I'm starting to like Megan Thee Stallion more. Actually, me too. Like some of the appearances she's been doing like she just seemed like a cool girl i, like, I rock with her i don't understand i, rock with her, man. I don't understand this hate from megan i mean look man but hey but, uh, more power to y'all who hate her man i don't know i'm not here for that listen to the full episode link below